Perfect. And uh, here, here comes the moment the crowds have been waiting for. They're all going to come out now for this fly past. Uh, whether it's raining or not, uh, inside of any umbrellas and led by the Queen. And the smiles from the smiles from the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh and some waves to the vast crowd below and they're joined now by other members of the royal family. Duke of Cambridge, Prince Harry there, Duchess of Cambridge too. And the crowd on the mall realizing that it's about to happen because the fly past is about to take place. Some six elements, the first element already in sight, the support helicopter force, a Merlin, two Pumas and a Chinook. Squadron leader Kevin Harris and the Merlin, Flight Lieutenant Paul Spears, Flight, uh, Flying Officer Charlie Emerson and the Pumas and Flight Lieutenant Matthew Smythe in the Chinook. Here they come, the RAF's helicopters of course providing essential transport for troops and equipment and vital medical emergency aid to NATO forces including in Afghanistan. There we see uh, uh, the Duchess of Cornwall, Prince of Wales and uh, Princess Eugenie there as well who was earlier this week helping the Queen at her garden party, uh, a very full royal turnout today. So the Merlin and the Pumas seen service in Iraq as well as uh, Afghanistan. Pumas, uh, the Puma 2 is taking part in the fly pass for the first time having been upgraded last year. And the Chinook from RAF uh, Odium in Hampshire often carrying medical uh, emergency response teams that give life-saving aid to injured troops and civilians. They've been in use for over 30 years. Great sight of the Dakota from the RAF Memorial Flight, based at RAF Coningsby, Lincolnshire. Dakota, tactical transport aircraft used during World War II, and uh, on D-Day to carry troops and freight, and we saw it in Normandy last week. Great sight in the blue skies above Aramosh. And what a lovely sight today. The Lancaster, which suffered some problems while in France after D-Day, but the engineers led by Flight Sergeant Dean McAllister working tirelessly around the clock this week, and that's the result. This great aircraft flying at the Queen's birthday parade with two Spitfires, we have Flight Lieutenant Tim Dunlop, Squadron Leader Duncan Mason, and Flight Lieutenant Anthony Parkinson, responsible for the RAF Memorial Flight. Plenty of wonderful things to take photos of as the I-Star transport, the Sentry E3D, eyes and ears of the RAF, flown by 8th Squadron out of RAF Waddington. Flanking it are two HS-125s from RAF Northolt. The great bulky figure of the C-17 from RAF Bryce Norton which can carry over 45 metric tons of freight, troops, other transport. And then the vast Voyager, also from Bryce Norton, specially adapted for a military role, troop transport, really, from Afghanistan and elsewhere. And then we have three Typhoons and three Tornado GR4s. And stand by for the Red Arrows. One of the world's premier aerobatic display teams, and that's the reason why. A stream of red, white and blue in the skies above central London and Buckingham Palace, to the Queen's obvious delight. Twenty fourteen is the fiftieth display season for the Red Arrows. It's great to see them. Queen enthusiastically thanking the crowd. Duke of Edinburgh having a chat and sharing a joke with 
Prince Harry. So the Queen and three generations of the royal family making their way back into the palace. The birthday parade of 2014, the 62nd of the Queen's reign, is at an end.